Hello everyone! Okay, so today it's time for Spellbound but by Margit Sandemo. Okay, so this video is emotional. She has been, or was, because she passed away now in September 2018. Very sad. Um, she was my mother's favourite author and so I grew up with her books in my mum's bookshelf so she had all her series the the, the ice people the legend of the ice people uh, and some some other series and the standalone books as well i did read two of her books in swedish one of them i remember was uh, the lily garden um, and i remember they are very lovely books and and you know they had the magic but it's very innocent you know like back in the day sort of not as not as um gory and in your face and and modern like it can be today but might like a sweet you know old style historian sort of setting to the to the paranormal or um fantasy if you like so um i finally got to read spellbound which is the first book in the uh, legend of the ice people series um and having hyped it up so much i have to say it wasn't disappointing but it was not up there to, to what I like um, because it, it I don't like reading like historian like I know that fantasy is back in the day and it's like the sword and the, the sword and sorcery sort of questy sort of genre which I do like but this was about a, a plague haunted 1581 in Norway um, so it was sort of very real and very like in a very dystopian or like a very sad environment and it, it sort of gets to me um, so the setting was a good description but I was I just don't like the read like that um, but no it was interesting um, Celia meets this man um, that she sort of she had to save this other man from the guards uh, and the man sort of she sort of meets this tangle which is a part of the ice people this man um, and Margit has the ability to build up the mystery to this man really well so that you 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 don't know what you're gonna get you don't know how it's gonna be you don't know if she's gonna engage with him um, and but you want to but you're sort of scared and it's you know a slow sort of sneaking up to him feeling towards it um, and he obviously tend to be the hero of the day um, the, uh, the the villagers still seems to be scared of the ice people so they're sort of hidden away in a mountain in the snowy mountains um, um, I can relate to sort of the snowy mountains in the middle of nowhere like because I have a, well I grew up in a cabin in Sweden in, in, in the middle of nowhere and um, where you know you don't have the direct access it takes like half an hour with the car to go uh, to buy milk in a shop so if you don't have a car and it was back in the day you had to you know travel very, travel very far so to get something that sort of feeling to the to the book um i uh, I, I liked it I did. I don't think I will be carry on reading the the next bits in the series, but um, yeah, it was it was nice. And uh, so so I can't say I can score it well uh, very well, but um, it was it was a nice story, and and I do like her other you know sort of magical systems books as well. So she could be a the English books that she does have out because obviously she's a Norway Swedish sort of. Um, author but the, the books that has been translated to English and that that exists could be nice for people that that does like the sort of old style um, mystery sort of no nakedness no sex no swearing but still a, like a romantic embedding story that's that's so this that's for you this is for you definitely worth check out her books uh, if you have read it please leave me a comment below uh, subscribe to my uh, channel uh, so that you can hear more of my uh, reviews uh, and uh, have a good day. Thank you very much. Bye!